We are joined now by Northwestern Offensive Coordinator Mick McCall. Mick, the run game made such a huge jump last year. In order to continue that, you obviously need good offensive line play. How do you feel like that group is coming together? They've been doing a great job from the beginning of the spring. Uh, we've, we've gotten uh, athletic guys up front now. Uh, not that we didn't have them before, but we, we just keep getting better as uh, with our talent up front. And those guys are working real, real hard, and uh, they can run, they can move. Uh, we're very, very excited about those guys. Coach, the spread's been around now quite a bit, and it's mm-hmm. taken over college football. What are the, some of the defensive trends you're anticipating this year to counter the spread? Oh, I think you see all the things. You, you, you're even seeing them in the NFL, too, as well, with all the guys that are running uh, some of the zone read stuff and, and everybody's. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is everybody's trying to disrupt the quarterback and the mesh point. I think those kind of things, you know, so they're trying a lot of different ways to either come fast at you or slow at you up the field back inside change their change their mesh point uh, rushes by the defensive ends and just change it up on the quarterback and so that just takes us to another level of changing things up on that defensive end and it's a cat and mouse game going back and forth always coach spend a, t- a lot of time today watching the footwork of your quarterbacks from your starters to, to your young guys and it all appears to be the same talk to us about how important it is to have that consistency from one person to another in this passing time. Well, I think the, the biggest thing is anytime, everything goes from the ground up. And so it's really, really hard to throw the football with accuracy and consistency uh, without having great footwork. So we talk about balance and rhythm is the key to great, uh, great passing technique. Which guys on the perimeter at wide receiver have had a good camp so far? Oh, I think Christian Jones has done a great job. Rashad Lawrence, Cam Dickerson, Mike Jensen. Uh, Tony Jones, those guys have been outstanding. You know, uh, Dan Vitale, we're asking him to do a lot of different things. Uh, a couple of the running backs are doing some things that way. You know, we're, we're trying to get different guys on the perimeter as much as possible and uh, make us really, really flexible and multiple. From a situation standpoint, what part of the game do you guys need to improve on, whether it's second and long, third and short? Where would you see one of the things you, you need to improve on? Uh, you know, I think we need to make sure that we have a third and short plan. And then, you know, then it just comes game plan and consistency with who we're, who we're getting the ball to, when we're getting the ball to them. And if one guy goes down, the next guy got to jump in, and it's got to be the same. It can't be something different because that quarterback feels like, you know, he gets a, a feel for one guy running a certain route. Well, everybody's got to run that route about the same way so we got the same timing and uh, rhythm. I think we all marveled last year at how well the two quarterback system worked. How do you envision the rotation working this year? Well, I think, you know, we'll see how it goes, but I see it working the same way. Uh, Those two guys, both Trevor and Kane, have done a great job just embracing the team the team motto and, and the team uh, outlook. And I think that's the biggest thing. They don't care what happens with them individually. All they care about is if we're going to win. And I think uh, probably the one uh, point that I can go to is the Syracuse game when Kane was kind of dinged up and we were going in for a two-minute drive and he came off and he got on the headset with me and said, Coach, I don't think I physically can do this. I think you got to go the different direction and for him to step up and say that you know no young man comes up and tells you that and he it wasn't because you know he was dinking out it was because he was really serious and he wanted to make sure that we had the best chance to win the football game and that's a testament to those two guys offensive coordinator mick mccall thanks a lot coach thank you thanks coach thanks